Hello, my name is Dr. Max Greenlee. I'm a clinical pharmacist, and today we're going to be going over a medication called azithromycin. And you're going to learn everything you need to know to maximize your medication, along with some things to look out for, including some pharmacist pro tips at the end. Before we get going, if you have any other medication that you want a full review on, please just let me know in the comments below, and I'll add it to this series of how to maximize your medication. What is azithromycin? Azithromycin is a macrolide antibiotic that fights bacteria. Azithromycin is used to treat many different types of infections caused by bacteria such as respiratory infections, skin infections, ear infections, eye infections, and sexually transmitted diseases, to name a few. U.S. brand names include Azacite Eye Drops, Zithromax Z-Pack, and Zithromax Tri-Pack. What dosage forms does azithromycin come in? Azithromycin comes in liquid, tablets, capsules, eye drops, and IV formulations. How does azithromycin work? Azithromycin kills bacteria by going inside the bacterial cell and preventing it from making proteins that it needs to live. Azithromycin is used to treat infections caused by bacteria that it can kill, and it can kill a lot of them. Azithromycin belongs to a class of medication known as macrolide antibiotics that also include clarithromycin and erythromycin. How long till my medication starts to work? It takes between two and a half to three hours for azithromycin to reach concentrations that allow it to start killing the bacteria that you're treating. Many times when taking azithromycin, your first dose will be higher than the rest of your doses to make sure that the bacteria is being killed right away. It may take several days before your symptoms of infection start to go away, or you may start feeling better just hours after your first dose. And this is common too. However, unless instructed by your doctor, always finish the full course of medication. What makes azithromycin awesome? Azithromycin can be used to treat many common bacterial infections that people get quite frequently. It can also be used in combination with other antibiotics for more serious infections. Azithromycin can get deep into the tissue and kill a wide range of bacteria that are in that tissue. This medication can be used even if you have an allergy to penicillin. Azithromycin is generally well tolerated by almost all patients taking this medication. In most cases, you will only need to take azithromycin one time per day, which is awesome. And generic azithromycin is available at a relatively low cost, so the price won't be too much of an issue either. What are the downsides of taking azithromycin? If you're between the ages of 18 and 60, take no other medication, or have no other medical conditions, the side effects you're more likely to experience include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, upset stomach, gas, fatigue, and headaches. Azithromycin may cause severe skin reactions and increase sensitivity to sunlight. Stop using azithromycin and seek urgent medical advice if a rash develops. It also has been associated with severe allergic reactions in remote cases, just like most medications and food of that matter. But if you feel shortness of breath or itching after starting to take the medication, definitely discontinue and seek medical advice immediately. If you have myasthenia gravis, make sure to let your provider know because most of the time, there will be a better alternative for you because azithromycin can make the symptoms of myasthenia gravis worse. And as a side note, for those of you not familiar with myasthenia gravis, it's a condition that causes a breakdown in the communication between nerves and muscles, and it can make you feel like crap. Who should never take azithromycin? If you have ever experienced cholestatic jaundice or hepatic dysfunction following the use of azithromycin, you should never use this medication again. Basically, this means if in the past you took azithromycin and it caused you extreme liver issues, then this drug is off limits for you. This is extremely rare, but possible, and if experienced, patients usually will have white or clay-colored poops, Coca-Cola-colored urine, pain in the upper right part of the abdomen, and yellow skin or eyes. If these symptoms happen, get in touch with your healthcare provider immediately and stop taking azithromycin. What are the most common interactions I should look out for? Medications that interact with azithromycin may decrease its effectiveness, affect how long it works for, or increase side effects. Always remember 
they just because two medications have an interaction, that doesn't mean that you should not take both of them. It's just going to be on a case by case basis and everyone's different. So talk to your provider or your pharmacist about this one. But common medications that may interact with azithromycin include medication that is used to treat irregular heartbeats known as arrhythmias. Make sure and tell your doctor if you're taking any medication to treat an arrhythmia because azithromycin may interact. And in general, any medication that can increase the risk of bleeding, such as clopidogrel, SSRI antidepressants, fish oil, all these can interact with azithromycin. And sorry to let you know, but alcohol may increase the side effects of azithromycin. So if you can avoid it until you're done with your therapy, you should. So is azithromycin a good medication? What's the bottom line? Azithromycin is an antibiotic used to treat a variety of different infections. It has the distinct advantage of once daily dosing. However, diarrhea is a common side effect. But overall, azithromycin is an absolute stellar medication that is used often and well tolerated by almost all people that take it. So before we wrap up this conversation about azithromycin, I wanted to give you some pharmacist pro tips because at some point in time, while you're taking this medication, these questions will arise. You can take your azithromycin with or without food, but a lot of people find when taking it with food that they don't get as much of an upset stomach. Don't take aluminum or magnesium containing antacids two hours before or two hours after you take azithromycin because antacids can make azithromycin less effective and if you want to know what's in your antacid, just flip over that package and it'll be written on the back in a small black and white box. I can't stress how important this is, but even if you start feeling better before you're finished taking all of the azithromycin, you must finish the entire prescribed quantity to make sure you get rid of the infection. Because if you don't, sometimes it can come back 10 times worse and you'll end up in the hospital. As a pharmacist, one of my specialties is infectious disease. So trust me on this one, it can get really bad and you really don't want it to. So if you don't take any other advice, I advise you to make sure and finish your azithromycin prescription as prescribed. Diarrhea happens frequently when taking azithromycin, but make sure and contact your provider if the diarrhea is extremely watery or if it contains blood. And like we talked about earlier, watch out for signs of liver disease, such as yellowing of the skin or the whites of the eyes, abdominal pain in the upper right side, rash, clay colored or white stools, or severe nausea and vomiting. Don't take azithromycin if you're allergic to other medications in the same class. Those medications include clarithromycin, erythromycin, or telithromycin. Use an SPF 30 or higher sunblock. When outside and wear protective clothing as azithromycin can make you sunburn more easily. Trust me on this one too, you'll regret it if you don't. Thank you so much for stopping past the channel. I hope this information helps you maximize your azithromycin. And if you wanna learn more about other medications you're taking, put them in the comments below and I'll make sure and add it to the same playlist. I put out new videos every week. So hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, stay curious, and always have a beautiful day.